square this week. You may notice that it's a little more colorful than usual. Mm -hmm. It's all to raise awareness for a fundraising effort called Stand Up to Cancer. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now to share how the Tri-State is making a difference. Liz? Hey guys, good afternoon again. This Friday night, right here on Local 12, there is a one-hour special which will also air simultaneously on 60 different TV stations across the country to support cancer research. Leading up to it, a whole lot of landmarks, including our very own fountain, letting survivors know we are standing with them against cancer. Perhaps no one would like to stand up to cancer more than those living with this disease. I found the lump Christmas Eve morning. Barb Siciliano, now one of many survivors, thanks to advances in treatment. By February, I was starting chemo. But part of the reason Fountain Square will be lit in red, orange, and yellow this week is to get all of us talking about ways to prevent this disease. It's so important to raise awareness. Megan Caldwell is a genetic counselor with the TriHealth Genetics Program. She says genetics, now used to determine everything from family risk, to how fast a tumor will grow so they know how to treat it. That information can impact their immediate management. A total of 90 landmarks and buildings in the U.S. and Canada will all be lit up in the colors of Stand Up to Cancer leading up to the TV special this Friday night on more than 60 television stations. That special raises money for cancer research. It is one more way events such as this one at a recent Bengals game found you can draw attention to how we can honor those we've lost by finding new ways to fight back. A genetic counselor can share how you can do that if you do have a family history of this disease. Because instead of just sitting and feeling like there's a stark cloud of cancer over them when they look at their family history, instead we can give them information that can allow them to either catch cancer as early as possible so it's very treatable or prevent cancer from happening in the first place. That's what it's all about. If you'd like to talk to a cancer genetic counselor at no charge, if you have concerns or you might be at risk, number to call 513-853-1300. Most testing now, if you need it, is covered by medical insurance plans. We also have details on how you can donate and learn more about Stand Up to Cancer at local12.com. That full uh, hour special is at eight o'clock on our air Friday night. One of the most interesting things she told me, you know, we're familiar with the BRAC1 and 2 genes, but the way they're using genetics is they can also test for things now such as pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is start scanning the organs earlier because that way you would see if there was a growth before it would spread because lots of times with certain cancers, right. there's no symptoms. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So yeah, that's what that money's allowing us so to do. So you can really do something if you find it too, not just to scare you. Correct. Yeah. yeah, you would do it, but you catch it at such a, yeah. a small area, you could do something that's about awesome. it, which is really cool. Yeah, they're really making progress and uh, nights like this really help. We hope you'll watch. All right, Liz, mm -hmm. thanks Back for at 5.30. Uh, turning this